Good evening, everyone. Zenokami here. Today, we're going to go ahead and start our podcast pretty soon. We had some technical difficulties early on, but thank you guys for sticking around. So we're going to start this off, as usual, with our lovely April Showers intro. Hope you guys enjoy. Sound resumed. Alrighty, so we're joined here by yours truly, Zenokami, uh, Mott Bomb, aka Gabe, or Gabe, aka Mott Bomb, and of course, Louis, aka That Mexican. So, how you guys doing today? What? 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 <laughs> Dude, we need like a Gunther. Like the penguin from Adventure Time, just being wink wink, <laughs> just randomly throughout the the thingy. Yes, that'd be awesome. So it's okay. How's it going? Going okay. Who are you? Life is going. That's it. Life is just going. Mm. Cool, cool. Ugh. So I will admit that I was a little bit late in doing the pre-setup because I was making a cup of coffee. So, don't judge me for that. Judge you all the way, man. See, you're a bastard, Gabe. No. <laughs> but you're our bastard. That's that's the thing. That's what makes you special. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We're gonna do our preliminary thing while we wait for people to cater their way in, slowly yet surely. So for the first topic, you guys want to start off with the CES? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, so if those who do not know, I'm also doing a lot of typing and responding to people because for some odd reason, they love to contact me right when I start doing something important. Yeah, keyboard though. <laughs> yeah, it has some. They're not um, mechanical keys, but they imitate mechanical keys quite well, and I'm, I'm actually enjoying this. It was a um, a gift mm. from my parents. Well, the money was a gift, and I. Uh, <laughs> and you just yeah. made it so that it was from your parents. Yeah, I mean that, that, that's how it, that, that's how you know we kind of do things as well. Because 22 year old, you don't know what to buy, so. They just kind of give me like a small bit of money and I buy cheap, but not too cheap, wonderful things because I don't like spending a lot of money. Gotcha. Anyway, for those who do not know, the CES stands for Consumer Electronics Showcase or show, something like that. I could be totally wrong there. But it's basically where a lot of people like Razer, um, Cooler Master, basically a bunch of technology manufacturers meet to show off their latest and greatest things for two, well, whatever year the year is. So for this instance, we're seeing a lot of stuff for 2015. And um, I have to say, 
I was impressed by one thing mainly. Did you guys know that Razer, the makers of you know various keyboards, mice, and other gaming related technology, is making their yeah. own open source virtual reality headset? What? Open source, the entire thing, hardware and software. Like software, or what? That's yeah. Weird, why? Because they want to. They just feel like it. Yeah. Like they just want people to make games, period, just like for the 3D world. Right. Right. See, the thing is, it, it's not even just for games. <laughs> they they're using the technology that that's learned from the open source to help fund things like um, other medical uses as well. Like there's this idea of having a um, haptic feedback for hands as well where you can actually use the open source VR headset to see the MRI scans of a, a patient and use the haptic feedback with the hand and the hologram to actually feel where tumors are located. That's awkward. <laughs> it's kind of, yeah, it's a little weird, but pretty cool. And feeling that. into your brain without actually feeling into your brain. Doctor, get your hands out of my brain! <laughs> so we have yes. error code 14 within the chat. How are you, error code? How are you? Area code? <laughs> Not area code, error. <laughs> oh, you knew that. You were sure. See, you are a trickster. I should name you the Joker. That's your, that's your code name. The Joker. The Joker. The Joker. <laughs> the Joker. So like, oh my god. <laughs> I like the troller. Hmm. The controller. Uh, 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 see what he did there? With the Razor yeah. stuff? Like, yeah. Uh, how you like that? <laughs> You know, there's actually an image going around for one of those, oh, your birthday, your day you was born, et cetera, et cetera, to make a name for, like, a super villain or superhero name, something like that. And mine yeah. was the trickster of Goth. No. Doctor. Oh, no. Storm oh. Doctor, trickster of Dude. Gotham. That's what it was. Dude. Storm Doctor. It's awesome. Weird. But okay. I like it. Don't judge. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so... I'm actually quite interested, only like mainly because it's open source and like it's supposed to be under I think uh, under one hundred dollars I think or one, under two hundred some dollars like, I think. The virtual reality thing? Yeah, that's really freaking rare for a company. Exactly. I need to read their like about see why they're doing this. Uh, so I kind of want to believe that. <laughs> people sometimes do that. People are sometimes just, just nice. Is it too good to be true for you, Louis? It, it is. It really is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't think so. Some people are nice. Whoa, Not whoa, corporate whoa. though. Well it is see the thing is I are never nice. I like Razor. I really do. They're one of my favorite companies in terms of hardware and devices, but like all of their stuff is really overpriced. And I'm yeah, shocked when they make something like this with an affordability ranges. It's brilliant. And then they're gonna raise the prices. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> totally. But um, it it, it reminds me because like last year at the 2014 CES, what are you eating? Nothing yet. <laughs> Nothing yet. But at last year's CES, um, Razer actually did like a um, a showcase for a prototype of a no fans computer build. It was all modular with these like little discs you snap in, and it was all cool through mineral oil. Oh, so like I just like see that's pretty neat. I wanted to do that one time, but like mm, I don't know. <laughs> well, see the. the so it, like, like I say, um, uh, it's kind of hard to show, like, to explain it without an image. Like, it was really thin and really binary tree looking, and like, t the the modular the, the the modular parts to it were um, mineral cool. So everything was inside the components. There was no draining, no pumping for you to do. You simply take this this little piece of device that has mineral mm -hmm. oil inside it already, and just like connect it to the output. And it would just start running on its own, so already cooling itself. Hmm. 
right? So there's no okay. mess. And see, but it wasn't fully functional because it was a prototype. So we don't know how far they've actually gone in its build yet, just yet. So. Everyone died. The end. <laughs> but one of the, one of the other things that we found at CES was apparently there's a group of people, like two or three, who uh -huh. they're ex Google employees, right? Yeah. So they decided to make they make their own little group and their own little manufacturing company, and they developed yeah. something that they're calling the Remix Ultra Tablet, and it is sexy. 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 <laughs> See, the idea of it well, is basically, it like? um, it's it, it runs a NVIDIA 4 plus 1 processor. They're not confirming whether or not it's Tegra 3 or 4 just yet, but it has 2 gigabytes of RAM, a 5 um, megapixel rear and front facing camera, has a 11.6 inch display, 1080p, and it's IPS. So, from those simple specs that they're giving out, it seems like a pretty... I don't want to say top tier tablets because, in my opinion, top tier tablets should start running four gigabytes of RAM by now, and probably have a, a little faster bit of, of, of a, a processor. But that's yeah. n neither here or there. It's, it, it's at, at minimum a mid range tablet, but it's it's for production. Mid it's mid range, yeah. But it's, it's you. you're gonna believe yeah. me, Gabe. Yeah. You're gonna so. believe me. I think we need some pictures. Uh, GTFO. Actually, <laughs> I can I can do that for everybody. Let me actually go to Android Central. There they have the uh, an article up, up about it. So let me do that and do desktop. Booyah! Picture. So it will. Gabe, you're probably not seeing it unless you have the stream open. But booyah! I don't know. Do I? Or do you? I don't know. It's mystery. We're not all in the same know. location. <laughs> So if you, so the viewers out there, if you're wondering where we're located at, we're actually in a place called the Ethereal. We're like all just spiritual beings. Yeah, I'm not. Just, I'm just uh, here. Sense frequencies uh, through the. No, well, I don't know how we set this up. Yeah, well, Lewis used to be a spiritual being, but then he traveled to the, the physical world and he possessed a waffle. So Lewis is a waffle. technological waffle, basically. <laughs> you let people know my secret. <laughs> I see crap. And he must die, wait. You're already dead. Uh oh. <laughs> but oh. yeah, so... Oh, I can see it. For those watching the stream, this is actually it. If, if you look at it, it's, it's kind of reminiscent to the Microsoft Surface tablet. I mean, quite literally, almost a carbon copy. But it runs Android with a custom launcher or a custom theme on it that actually gives it a task. Well, I did not see this before. They actually, oh my goodness. <laughs> they actually have like a start menu like Windows 8. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, that's kind of like a... Look, so I, I don't mind when people utilize other people's styles, but I mean, you don't gotta go with like a complete imitation of Microsoft. Well, maybe that's probably what they're trying to go for. Target the Microsoft audience and then slowly bring them to Android. So I, I, I don't know. Could be. But... Oh yeah, uh, I guess. Uh, whatever uh... works. Whatever works. Yeah. But see, the, the idea for me is like, I don't, uh, so when it comes to devices like this, and we're gonna segue <laughs> to the next part of CES, is I prefer the, I, the image of like the ASUS Transformer Book uh, Chi series, the ones that they, they just announced at CES, which is a upgraded version of the ASUS Transformer T series. So, um, from Book Chi, I'm gonna see if I can make Transformer an image. Yeah. And they're super slick. They're. I love the way they design, I love the way they look, I just hope they're actually stable and, and sturdy and nerdy. <clears throat> Let's see if I can nerdy. actually throw it up there. Desktop! Go, there we go. Oh, and look, they even got the image of the Razer um, 
Okay. VR image that I was, I was talking about earlier. But yeah, um, so this is something that I'm actually thinking about getting. So I plan on when um, some income comes this year around February, planning on getting the Transformer book T100. She, I think it's called. It's a ten. It's a ten point one inch display touchscreen. Comes with a like, like a Wacom style. Um, what do you call it? Uh, stylus. Yeah, stylus. Uh, a touchable keyboard with a, ma a mouse trackpad, chiclet keys, and you know, pretty much the standard. But it's, it's it, it it runs full Windows and it, it, it it's great for on the go college work, maybe you, um, basic uh, document work for your career or etc. So I, I think it's, I think it would be a good investment, especially with a USB OTG cable. You can't go wrong. Huh. About that. I'm positive about that game. You, you're going to stop second guessing. I'm going to float over there to your realm and I'm going to strangle your non physical existence. Uh, 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 I don't think that's, uh, that's nice. uh, not a uh, thing to do. Lewis, you sound like you need an adult. I need an adult. Uh, oh, we have. Um, Kia in the chat, she says, hello. Hello, Kia, how are you? Hey, hello. Uh, how you doing? I hope they're doing well. If not, we should have to destroy them. That's not very nice. It is nice. We're, viewers. we're limiting their existence by ending it from misery. I learned that from Invader well, Zim. You can send them into <laughs> See, they, we can let them join us in Transcendence. And no, I'm not talking about the Johnny Depp movie. That movie was not a good movie. It, it was okay. It just was not not good at all. <laughs> it was good, but not good at all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so, <systemic> fan. <laughs> Lewis, you had something about an LG dual synchronous washing machine? Yeah. yeah. So it's like this little interesting washing machine that uh, LG came out with. Basically, uh, I... I put a link on there but it's pretty interesting <laughs> um basically it's got like a top like normal washing machine section it's got like this bottom drawer almost imagine like it's it's one of those um newer fancier fridges that have like the freezer at the bottom kind of mm -hmm. like that it's like a little drawer that just pulls out and that's where you put like your second little laundry and you could pretty well i mean of course the second compartment is not as big as the first but i mean you could put like a second load right there and get two things done at the same time. Mm. Um, the pricing is yet to um, be released, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be up there price wise. $2,000! Yeah. <laughs> $2,000. Oh, excuse me. I, mm. I think it would probably be more than that. Probably, actually. <laughs> probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but the official name is the LG Twin Wash, though. And uh, Twin yeah, wash. it just it's nice. Like, the bottom drawer would be for like delicates and everything because it's just like its own separate like cycle. It could well, like, say a different thing, be... too. Good for like socks and uh, yeah, smaller yeah. items. Uh, yeah. Or panties. Or, <laughs> or panties. Or panties. I guess. Oh socks, my! You know? We're not sexist. Did someone just bring in George to to Kai? To Kai? Yes. Uh... Oh my! It is me, George to where is he decaying? No, he's Where's decaying. Oh, that's, that, that's, that's Sulu from Star Trek. Indeed, <laughs> someone knows my... I, I can't, I'm done, I'm done. You guys don't know... I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna kill you guys. I, I really am. I'm, I'm really gonna <laughs> don't, kill you. Yeah, I don't know that reference. You don't know Star Trek? I haven't Star watched Trek. it like that. Oh, I'm revoking two fan. of your nerd cards. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I need them. No, please. <laughs> I need them to move around. I need oh, them to go Like, I'm heartbroken. I'm, I'm literally here kind of tearing up over <laughs> over the fact you don't know who George Takei is. You're fucking welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. <curious>, kinda... <laughs> um, the last uh, bit of technology I want to talk about from CES is Quantum Dot Technology. And what that basically mm. is, is a... Did you just go, mmm? 
like that too. Like, oh, fancy. I thought you meant like delicious. Mmm, Quantum! So tasty! Uh, would be awkward. Mm. <laughs> but no, Quantum Dot technology is basically this new way of not having to filter in the white light composed through the RGB covers of a, a monitor or a TV. So basically, if you're not, if you have a monitor and it does not use OLED technology, it's basically a white panel of light in the back that that shines through these microscopic or probably not micro, probably more close to nano or probably even really really small little filters of each color. So basically, red, green, and blue, sometimes yellow, depending on what quality and what year your device is made in. Yellow. So yeah, yay, yellow sunflowers. The sun, the sun is actually not yellow, but whatever. And um, what? Huh? Huh, what? No, I'm just going to continue, continue. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so those light has to be filtered through those images, the, the red, the blue, and the green, sometimes yellow, and that kind of diminishes quality on a very yeah. small scale. So your, your eyes won't really notice it unless you're just a hound dog for quality. So what the quantum dot technology does is, is a new way of showing all of these colors without having to be filtered. So you get a brighter, more rich, more um, just nice quality overall. But for me, I think it's bullcrap because when you have less <laughs> filtering with a white backlight, you lose. Well, I like saturation. I like deep, rich colors. But when you have that bright light not being filtered, you get a more wash, a more cooling effect for your for your eyes and for the quality. And I mean, again, it's not better than OLED. So I mean, good job. For, I mean, I push forward the technology, but OLED is just better overall. You're just saying it sucks, right? I'm trying not to be mean. Holy crap, someone just sent me a picture of a woman's boobs with nipples that has caps on. Because it's freezing cold outside. Thanks a lot, Chris. Wow. Sounds interesting, though. It... It it kinda is. They're like like little Hershey kisses, but they're... Little fuzzy skull caps. Uh, Moving on to the next subject. <laughs> All right. Gabe, do you want to talk about the anime of 2015? Oh, yeah. Um, if you guys don't already know... Uh, Tell me the, if you don't know. <laughs> the Digimon reboot. Whoa. Did yeah. you just say Digimon? Yeah, the Digimon reboot. As in... Digimon, Digital Masters, Digimon, we are the champions. Yeah, dude. Um, so the reboot is pretty much uh, supposed to be aired um, around April somewhere. Somewhere around April. Um, it's supposed mm-hmm. to be coming out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're pretty much teenagers now. Uh, Wait, and like the, the original cast? High school. Yeah, it's, it's like with it's TK like and and it. yeah, with TK and everyone else. And, oh uh, shit! Yeah, <laughs> and yeah, so it's like they're pretty much teenagers and stuff. I think they use the same. Um, wait, hold on. I think they're using the same uh, voice actors too for the um, the reboot. The old. The old uh, Digimon that were. Oh, were dude, coming. you're making me like very nostalgic right now. And see, it's like a lot of people go Pokemon over Digimon, and for games and basically manga, I agree. But in the anime competition, Digimon wiped yeah. the floor with Pokemon always. It was more <laughs> logical too. Well, you can't say logical. You can say uh, it kind of made more sense with the world, I guess. Yeah, and there was actual character development. And of course, the biggest thing is TK, his brothers, and everyone else actually grew up, unlike Ash, who was like forever 10. <laughs> the, the kid's older than me, but he is still 10. I don't, I, I don't get that. <laughs> oh, the music dropped out. I got to buy the riff up. He will always be 10. Yeah, so um, if you guys want to check out um, the latest um, anime. You play oh. something great. Uh, <laughs> like animes that are coming out. Um, you go to myanimelist.net and you can pretty much see uh, anime that haven't come out yet mm. and are about to come out. Nice. Yeah. 
Also, I would but, like to say but, that um, Era, not Era, um, Dusk is also watching the live stream. He wanted to say that the small pixels on the quantum dot um, screens are indeed nano, not micro. Also, he says Yu-Gi-Oh! the original rocks. So, yeah. Nice. What were you about to say, Lewis? Oh, or, okay. Yeah. Oh, I was um, say, but for Gabe, uh, oh, well, what? Uh, what if we live in a restricted country that doesn't let us go to that website? Is there oh, an there shit! Recommend? Lewis, are you doing a, a segue, sir? What? Are you doing a segue? Am I doing, am I doing a segue? I don't, I don't know. know. You you tell me. Answer the question, Gabe. Answer the uh, question. <laughs> um, I don't know. Actually, that, that site should work for pretty much every... Everywhere you're at, but, but in case it doesn't, you can go to essenceofzen.org/proxy and see if our proxy system works for you. It probably still doesn't, but it has a chance of working, if not slowing down your video streaming at all. But we have a proxy. Yeah. Yeah. Again, that's yeah. essenceofzen.org/proxy. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and um, wow. Gabe. Remember when I told you about like four days, three days ago, I may need you to do some artwork? No, I don't, I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> of course you don't. Well, uh, we want to do a mascot for the proxy, and we're thinking about going with a nerdy Sasquatch, because Sasquatch are elusive, and they've never been fully documented or captured on camera. So, what do you think about that, sir? Uh, a nerdy Sasquatch? Yeah, like basically, it's, it's Sasquatch like with a like T-shirt. Like books and shit, or like no uh, glasses type Sasquatch. Or... Yes, but I'm gonna have Sorry. a have a T-shirt with some type of like geek logo or geek oh, saying okay. on it, and his face has to be like blurred out or very blurry. You know what I'm talking about? Because no one has ever seen this Sasquatch. <laughs> uh, you can just put a no face on him. Sasquatch. Oh yeah, that, that works too. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Also, Lewis says you got something implemented. I don't know if we should. I, oh, that was for the web team yeah, chat. That's, that's, yeah, that's, <laughs> Never yeah. mind. Sense of information. Uh, Data. No. <laughs> but yes, anyway, if you're looking for also more anime to watch, I highly recommend watching um, Parasite, The Maxim. I highly recommend Psychopath Season 1 and 2. Um, Tokyo Ghoul, which is going to have an awesome set of. Um, uh, seasons until they get past one event where the manga is in Tokyo Glory which is right now sucking ass at the moment but I'm not gonna get into that because I'll get on a rant damn you Tokyo uh, Glory uh. <sighs> anyway sticking over to the Western media of entertainment let's talk about Marvel shall we all right go for it well Gabe you yeah, you're the one that actually watched the Ant-Man trailer, so tell me about it and tell us about it and did you like it and did you enjoy it? Uh... Uh... No. <laughs> um, <laughs> so... I think, um... I don't know. Like, it, it's, like, oh, no, I can like <laughs> the, <laughs> the trailer isn't, like... It, it doesn't get you that hyped up. Like... They could have done more with it. Like, I think they could have done more with it, but it doesn't get you hyped up, hyped up at all. I can believe mm. that. Before we continue, I would like to say that Dusk Hound says that the anime Elfin Le um, Laid, or Lead, I don't know how to pronounce Elfin that last Lied. one. Yeah, Lied, there you go. Is an awesome anime. I have actually yet to see the full series, so I need to do that to keep my nerd card. Yeah, uh, it's he pretty awesome. <laughs> he the also is kind of weird. You shouldn't. Seriously? Um, it's, it's like mind blown. Um, he also wanted to say that, um, a little known fact, echidnas have a three-headed penis, like at any moment. But actually, I think it's a four-headed penis, Dust Hound. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, an, an echidna. They're like, they're related to hedgehogs. Like, if you watch Sonic uh, Knuckles, he's an echidna. Hmm. Yeah, they have a four-headed penis. Interesting. Yes. Well, snake. Have two penises, so. Yeah, so the battle of the peni. Peni, is that the? <laughs> Not to keep the subject on on penises, but have you ever seen a duck's? 
I have not seen a duck. Look, if anyone wants to Google a <laughs> duck penis, just be fairly warned. It is the most weirdest looking thing in the world. I'm just, I'm just saying. Oh, it's so weird. Well, there's no better time. Do it right now. <laughs> and since Zen is not liable for any sue actions of heart attacks, disgusting uh, uh, diabetes, or anything granted Brown from map. looking at a, dus Here we go. a duck's Images. penis. And here we oh look we're just looking at this little infographic. <laughs> Wait, that's that's Are you actually searching that up? <laughs> that's not up. a I think you're thinking of something else. Oh a... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> There's uh a... Alright. <laughs> that's uh that's, that's like a Corkscrew <laughs> thing. Dude, I there, think I've heard of it. There's no I've uniform look to it at all, man. <laughs> Interesting. That's... They literally screw the the other duck. It looks like a like an icicle made out of meat. <laughs> made it's... out of meat. <laughs> Yeah. The fuck? That's that's what the better ones look like. The other ones look like a little like <laughs> like some some sort of fruit roll up you just don't want to eat. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I'm so sorry to the stream to the to the viewers. Especially, I'm I'm, I'm even more sorry if you actually Googled it. Oh, okay. Anyway, you're not saying you want me to do it. What? What? Huh? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Someone else just googled it and told me it's like 21 inches long. <laughs> How do you get on this topic? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, back to Ant-Man. So, personally, I have this really big that's issue so with Ant-Man movies. Well, the, the Ant-Man movie that's coming out. So, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you young guys, you know, you, you don't know Golden Age or Bronze Age or Silver Age comic books or the old original history and canon and lore of old Marvel superheroes. But Ant-Man is actually a very significant member of the Marvel Universe. He is originally the only person who created Ultron and then they, they later revised it to have it be Ant-Man created Ultron and then... Tony Stark added his own programming for the AI system that created Ultron, and now it's in, in the movies, it's just Iron Man. So anyway, Ant-Man is basically this one individual by the name of Hank Pym, who's a genius up there with Mr. Fantastic. His wife, Janet Pym, who is the Wasp, who, and those two had a daughter who became a villain later on known as the Red Queen. Now in the movie series that they're doing, they're just skipping over Janet and Hank, and they're going straight to the second Ant-Man when when the original Ant-Man became Giant-Man. I know I might be losing you, stay with me. But, <laughs> typically put, they're just changing the entirety of Ant-Man from the ground up. Like, there's no Giant-Man of Hank anymore. Um, Hank and Janet's daughter is going to be the new Wasp, and it's the only thing that that movie has going right for it is the outfit design and the villain, the yellow, the yellow jacket, or yeah. So I have a real issue with that, and I think it's going to be Marvel's first step in going away from the correct core of a superhero. But you know, it could do well because, like I said, you youngins don't have any idea who Ant Man really is, and you're going to be like, oh, this is awesome, yeah, screw the old guys. <laughs> well, well for people who haven't you think read this the, is... the comic, yeah, it's 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 like that for like every movie adaptation that really shit like that. Yeah, because like you expect it to be just like what's in the book, and then they don't deliver, and then you get this. Cause it's just yeah. See, the, the thing is, I'm not even mind if, if they change a little bit of it, like it, with the Guardians of the Galaxy. The guards get that is not them at all. Well, it's about twenty five percent to their personalities and seventy five percent totally new. And for those who have actually watched the movie, you know, spoiler alert: the pirate guy, the guy who who has the arrow and always whistles, he was originally one of the founding members of the Guardians. He was actually a member, the found a found a founder of it, and. 
they made him into his own little mercenary leader, and again, it, it wasn't bad. It was it was well written. So changes like that, where it actually does good for the series, is no problem. Mm -hmm. But when you literally change everything to the point where you have Hank Pym, who had divorced Janet, who has a daughter who does not become a villain, and then the second Ant-Man known as Scott Lang, or Scott Lang, whatever his stupid name is, is the only Ant-Man that you're going to introduce, is just appalling to the to the original story. It, 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 it's, it's, I'm, I'm geeking out out of rage, but damn, you know? Did I clip the mic? I don't know if I clipped the mic. <laughs> nah, you didn't. That's a good. Thank but, you. uh... Uh... Anyway, <laughs> speaking about Marvel Steel, one thing that, that they're doing right is the TV series. Sorta, of, kinda. I'm really enjoying what? the... The TV series, though, you know, they have little, like, um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which is going in eh at the moment, but Agent Carter premiered, I think, last night, actually. And it was actually really good. I for was those... like, I've heard about it on Spotify all the time, all I'm at work. <laughs> like, Agent Carter premieres this season. <laughs> it's pretty good. So, like, here we know, Agent Carter is one of the old agents back in the past when um, Captain America was uh, originally alive, you know, his, his era, his generation. She worked alongside mm -hmm. Tony Stark's dad. She worked alongside Captain uh, Captain America and, and the people who created huh. um, the Super Serum. Like she's, you know, she's the actual comic book character who was a secret agent, and she was a badass. And they're actually, so far, it's only been one episode, having her live up to those standards, and it's amazing. The actress is amazing. She's gorgeous. She can act, and she, I think she actually did some training for some of her combat moves. It, it doesn't, it doesn't look like I'm watching a Power Ranger combat scene. It looks like she <laughs> actually knows what she's doing. And Her I love that. Stop devil? Hmm? <laughs> no. Possibly. Power I don't know. Ranger. <laughs> Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. But, uh, yeah. And for those who are also big on superhero stuff, do not forget that Justice League, the animated movie Throne of Atlantis, comes out this year, I believe late January or in the middle of February. Do not quote me on that, though. But, yeah. Huh. And who should we quote? Oh, Zane. You're right, Zane. Or don't Cave. Quote me. <laughs> it's a hook wizard. His weapon is weapon by its action. Wow. Anyway, we actually kind of. Oh, um, that's right. I forgot. We we got one thing I wanted to, to bring up. So, something? if you guys been watching the news lately. It's kind of saddening that it's still January of this brand new year, and we have all of this massive amounts of violence going on. So, if you're not sure, or you haven't watched the news, there was an attack in France. It was technically a terrorist attack. And it was basically these ex this, these religious extremists, and because I don't want to associate extremists with you know any religion whatsoever. It's not the religion that causes these incidents. It's crazy individuals who happen to take things a little too far. But they attacked a a satirical comic book newspaper, you know, uh, series writers and, and artists offices, and actually killed twelve and critically injuring, you know, others. And it, it was very sad that the fact that freedom of speech about you know extremist individuals and whatnot. I, I think the quote itself is, you know, it's it's a sad world and where the pen and pencil can spark. A retaliation with guns and bombs is is quite sad. Damn sad. It really is. And I I, I don't know what what, right. what else to say about it is because I don't want to linger on it too much. But yeah. You see the movement that they start with it, like just say Charlie, and mm -hmm. like like the company that was like I'm um, targeted it was like Charlie. The Bod? Yo Bod? I forgot the name of the company. But basically, um, this guy was like, on 9 11, we were all Americans. Today, we were all Charlies. And it was like kind of standing up for free speech on the company. Yeah. Uh, they've made these little posters where everyone like to print out in different languages. Yeah. See, and I'm actually kind of glad that that's the outcome because. It's, it, it, it's, it's one of the biggest issues I have with our society, not like just Americans, but I mean globally as human beings. It's, it's the fact that we have to wait till such a tragic incident to occur 
for a unification of peace to, you know, or, or, or a unification of understanding to arrive. You know, and it, it's, it's, I just find that yeah. sad. It, you, we have to have a, a bad event to ha- to showcase good event. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. And the body doesn't end there. So like yesterday, yesterday morning, one of the um, branches of the NAACP offices in Colorado was also attacked, but no one died. No, so no, l- luckily and thankfully, no one p- passed away, or were killed, or or even critically injured. It was just um, an attack on the offices, and they they, they, either, they either set a, um, set fire to it, or they blew it up, causing a fire. But there is a suspect that the officers in Colorado are pursuing. But there's no hard evidence at the moment to deliberately say if it's this guy or not. But so far, they believe it's a male. I forget his name. But um, they just the description is a bald white male who has been known for racial incidents in the past. And you know, I hope they catch the guy ASAP. And I hope you know everything is is brought to an end because it it's 2015, January 8th. Eight days into the new year, and we already have this much violence. Yeah, it's, it's irritating. Gotta, we gotta go out with a bang. I mean, begin with a bang. <laughs> too soon, Gabe. Too soon. <laughs> too soon. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Um, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I really do think it's too soon. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, that's pretty much all the topics. So yeah, we actually did it. In about 40 minutes, I told you guys, the, the topics will be about 40 some odd minutes long. So now we have about 20 minutes for anything you guys want to talk about. Oh, sorry. I'm... <laughs> Did you just go a, a humble way? A wumble way? I don't know. That's how much I know. <laughs> Oh, do you know that someone actually translated the opening song to Lion King? Mm. Do you know what it translates into? I think I remember seeing that, but I forgot what it meant. It's like, there's a lion. Hey, yeah, that's a lion. (laughs) That's pretty much it, the... uh, yeah, I think I remember. I think I could have gotten the rest of my was... life, but I need to know that. I mean, it's not that big, but <laughs> like, oh, well, all right, well, I like now, all right. Talk about Transformers. Like, so does wants to talk about Transformers. My question: You mean the robots in disguise, the Autobots and uh, Decepticons, or the Transformers and tablets, PCs? Hmm. Well, the Transformer PCs are gonna really start making the cake because people are just moving around all the time. No one wants to sit down at their computer, do work. That's boring. You know what, Lewis? Screw you, because he meant the um, robots in disguise. Oh, wait, what? Wait, wait, what were we talking about? Transformers like the Autobots and Decepticons. Oh, I didn't too. I, I, I asked him which one. He he said there's there's a theory about Megatron being Optimus Prime's brother. True. You didn't know that. Well, it's, it's, it's it depends on what version you want to go to. You want to go to the original 1980s Transformers or the Michael Bay Transformers because they each kind of follow a, a slightly different lore. And even the, the games that you know, a lot of fans are saying is the hardcore line lore canon series is still a bit different from the original Transformers. So, I mean... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even finish the sentence. Well, um, yeah, I guess. It really doesn't matter, right? I mean, it, it doesn't, but, like, you know, whatever fancies your boat, because, um... It, 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 it's, it's one of those things that is I icon- it's like TMNT, and T, like yeah. T and T Transformers. Hold on, they say he he sends me a message saying um because the problem was that when they talk about that they had a great mother in theory and there's some artwork leading to this. Well, see, that's also a thing because the female um, Transformers, like I don't want to call them the Autobots, but the um from from Cybertron. 
they were at one point just never really showcased, and then they started to show one or two. So then they talked about the lore and the the building and how they were manufactured, how they were made, and how they had this great creator. So then you had the original story that said the great mother, but then you have the Michael Bay, which in my opinion, and I'm, I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. Actually, I think his writing for the lore is a little bit better than the original because in his lore, the great creators are an, a, another alien b being. And from if you've seen the last Transformer movie from Michael Bay, the allusion is to it. You see an organic mm -hmm. three-fingered hand that has infused with it some mechanical parts, and they're saying that those were the creators. And Optimus Prime is going to go to to go find those creators and you're like oh this is awesome we get to see alien life form who created another alien life forms in a movie about alien life forms it's awesome because every time you get a movie about aliens or anything <laughs> from outer space it's always that one damn species we so in a movie you have aliens you confirmed that we are not alone in this world but why is it we only see one damn alien species because it's only one damn alien species it's God. only one that the line. apparently man <laughs> Oh, we're not alone, but we're yeah, still alone. Just trust us. And if you, on, you if you couldn't guess, I'm big on alien stuff. So I love alien movies. I love alien texts. I'm sure. a big fan of the original aliens and predators and whatnot. Oh. I'm drawing aliens right now. Woo! Are they creepy? Oh, I'm not. Oh. Drawing, drawing you skulls. lied to us, Gabe. You lied. Drawing. I guess skulls are um, aliens too. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, gotta put another track on. Boop. Uh, now I'll talk about some more computers. Okay, so Aaron wants to talk about more computers. Um. Well. One thing that I did notice in, at CES is they're making a lot of more modular modules <laughs> if that makes any sense like the modular graphics cards <laughs> like graphic cards are becoming more modifiable so I mean beforehand they were always easy all you had to do was unscrew the plates and the heat sinks and get like the very skinny board and you can add water cooling to your GPUs but then they're becoming even easier and then you can have these massive four-way SLI slash crossfires with each one having their own water cooling units to uh, attach to the water cooling pipes that attach to the outside of the case for a four fan cooling. It is pretty freaking awesome. And I'm seeing more... That sounds pretty awesome. I'm, yeah, I'm, and I'm, it, 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 it's like, yeah, it's about damn time. Now, Dust Count says, talk about Alienware. It's funny because we're talking about aliens and we're talking about computers, but no, Alienware sucks. Well, they don't suck in terms of That's hardware like and performance. Right? It shows like lights and stuff, right? That's yeah. what I mean. It's cool. <laughs> Go with the Asus computer. Yeah. The Asus well, came in once. They look nicer. Yeah. Better. I mean, look at me. I, I like Alienware in terms of the performance, but they seriously overcharge you. They're like the Apple of computers or the Apple of. Gaming computers. Gaming computers. Yeah. yeah. Cause like an, an Alienware computer that costs three thousand, you can get the exact same performance, if not greater, for about three fourths of that price. So I mean three fourths. And, yeah, and don't get me wrong, I understand. You're a company, if you have a brand, you actually you, you gotta make a profit. If you have a, a logo or a brand that is, you know, up there, you have that premium that, that it's it's a market. And I won't ever say that they're bad for doing that. I just kind of hate when people say, "Oh, get an Alienware." No, build your own PC. Just, just build it. It will come. <laughs> yeah, I'm building is getting easier nowadays. There's like helper websites, like uh, this one website called PCPartPicker.com. Oh God, I love that website. Yeah, you just like choose the pieces you want. It tells you which retailer sell it online, and uh, even show you like bundles, and it shows you like what's compatible to. It makes yeah. it all automated and easy. Oh, you're missing this. Oh, you're missing this. It's pretty or easy. this easy graphics card is now. too big for this case. Yep. Really beats the whole old uh, what is it Excel spreadsheet thing I used to have. Yeah. Um, Aircoat14 says, search up snail gaming on CES. I've actually seen that error. Um, so the snail gaming is paid, like, they're, uh, I, I like the concept, but I don't like what they're doing because this has actually been done before. So there's like an Android device, which is a phone, but it's also like a portable gaming platform. It has a very 
PSP like design to it. You got your analog sticks on both sides with some buttons, but it's also has a touch screen. It's also a phone. This is like that device. It could be made by the same people about like two years ago. And it's like, while it's not a bad device in, in, in theory, you don't want to have a phone that's like, oh, we can play Android games because Android games don't really need this full integration. And yes, while you can indeed run emulations on your cell phones like DS games, GP, GBA, SNES, and much, yeah. much more, I don't know if you if, if buying a um, pri uh, proprietary phone for gaming is a smart idea. Yeah, it's like you might as well just fucking buy it. Right. Yeah, that was how the game. Now, yeah. if Probably the real deal. Yeah. If the, if the device itself was not a phone and it was just for Android gaming and they dropped the price down a little lower, then yeah, totally awesome. To totally fine. You can have your phone. You can have this little console on you at all times. You can save a lot of space. You don't have to have, you know, selfies, you know, bringing up your memory and all that crap. You can just have a, a dedicated Android gaming device for portability on the go when you're bored. So... So it's, it's like, oh, you know, I'm playing my game on the bus, and then, like, you know, the bus gets hijacked by a crazy man. I got 5% battery life left. Do I finish this level, or do I call 911? You know? <laughs> I think I'll finish the level. <laughs> <laughs> you will think I'll order pizza as my last meal. Yeah, but it'll, get, it'll never get to you, because she'll be dead on the yep. bus. <laughs> You're right. I'll just call Jimmy John's. They're quicker. They're quicker. And that's also another thing. I'm I'm noticing a lot of like, you know, living room TV devices for Android, which is fine because I actually like using Android for a media center. You know, your easy um, layout for movies, videos, YouTube, and even games. But I'm starting to see a lot of them get a little carried away talking about, oh, look at this $400 TV Android device for streaming and gaming. It's like, dude, no Android app or game requires any device to be four hundred dollars and you probably won't ever that. need that for the next four or five years so don't even try to do it now because by the time if anything comes around for that they're gonna buy a new device anyway I was gonna say, have you seen like the Amazon like uh oh, crap I forgot what it's called it's like this little like cylinder that stands up you talk to it like Amazon Whisper or something? Oh, I know what you're talking about, yeah. yeah I don't know the name of it, but I've seen it. Yeah. Is it something listening. magical? Like, pop up out of nowhere? You need to not download it. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Error just Can said. Error just said that the Sony Xperia Ericsson Android device, that's what I was talking about, the one that came out like two or three years ago. The Sony Ericsson gaming Android phone. Same thing, and yes, um, Snail Gaming has the Android gaming console called the Obox. But what is so different about the Obox compared to the Ouya? I mean, yes, it looks different and it may be a little better, but in terms of use and, you know, gaming wise, what Android game would you just want to have on your TV just to use a, a specific box for? Uh -huh. mm. I don't know. That's why they're Android fucking game <laughs> on your phone. Mm. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, the, you forgot about the Steam box? That they're oh. To do. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm still waiting for it. What <laughs> 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 you eating? I'm, yeah, I'm eating and I'm drinking coffee. I'm a fat ass, but. Mm. <laughs> um, the Steam box. Um. I was hoping to see a little bit more about it this year at CES, but I think they're going to do more information about it later in the year because it was close to being released last year, but you know it, it had some issues and they wanted to refine some things, mainly the OS, I do believe, the Steam OS. So hopefully yeah. by, I want to say, third quarter of this year, we'll, we'll start seeing more inf information about Steam boxes because I'm ready for the console wars to just end. And don't get me wrong, I, I don't mind consoles. Yes, I think they're inferior, but I, I, I can see why someone <laughs> prefer consoles over PCs because it's easier to deal with. You don't got to worry about viruses. You don't got to worry about, you know, um, your game not being compatible with a certain DirectX version or, you know, all, all this other crap or etc. 
So if you're a simple person and you just want to play a game, I understand consoles. But what but. the what they call them producers or no publishers and developers have been going back and forth about exclusives and changing platforms and doing unfinished games. It is it is starting to bother me a lot. Like I have never been in, in, to a moment where I literally goes, all these games that are coming out this year are shit. <laughs> I literally said that, you know, um, Assassin's Creed, um, what's the new one? Five? No, Unity? Shit. Complete you that back. shit. No, no I kidding. won't take that back. Uh, it's uh, shit. Uh, 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 I'm not <laughs> into... Very funny. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, Duty, the I'm not into, uh, like, console gaming anymore, because it's too overrated, man. It is. It is. And like, yo, okay, Dusk Hound just said, and Portal. Yeah, Portal was amazing. Like, see, yeah, I don't like giving Val a, a Valve a lot of praise either because there are some things that about them I, I don't like as much because you know they're, they're getting to this near monopoly, and I I do not love I do not like monopolies at all. So when they become like this dominant powerhouse. They'll eventually, if whatever, for whatever reason, if they ever go rogue, they can just have us bent over and specking our asses for the next ten years. So, Thank you. yeah. The game seems pretty cool, though. Yeah. Oh yep. yeah. So Duskhound also says, and what I dislike is when they don't make a game like my uh, Minecraft, somewhat as good as on PS3. Tell them I was disappointed. They didn't add in the the wither, even though they got all the other shit for it. Unportable. I mean, yeah, but see, that's also about platforms, because like, uh, yeah. Minecraft was made in Java. So yeah, I mean, like, just pure Java. So when you try to put Java on consoles or even mobile devices, especially on Android, which is very not Java friendly anymore. No, I'm thinking of Flash. Never mind. It's yeah, it's like Android <laughs> runs on Java. <laughs> But yeah, so like all the different platforms, they have different frameworks for it. And this is getting into like um, me and Lewis's field of, of study when it comes to computer science, engineering, uh, artificial intelligence and whatnot. But when you have different frameworks, you just can't like take a layer and you just can't export it to another platform. And even when you do so correctly and you do the modifications for it, you never know what error you may find on this one platform that may have never ever popped up on another. So then the team got to take time to work on stuff, re-add stuff, find a new way to <coughs> ah, to implement something oh. and it's it's a headache yeah but anyway I think it'll get better on Xbox cause like I think Mojang sold the rights to Microsoft so yeah, yeah. also Eris says he prefers PCs because he can spend $500 on a PC and play console games and PC, PC games plus do PC things usually at a higher performance so yeah pretty yeah. much and uh, PC games are good <laughs> exactly, and that's, that's also why I, why I want to see Steam OS come to life because so th th there's a thing with like um with Linux. So the, the people who, who who created Left 4 Dead, I think it is, yeah, Left 4 Dead, when they ported it over to the Linux version of Steam, excuse me, they said it was so much more easier to optimize because the, 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 there was less hoops you got to jump through. With with Microsoft, you got to have all these drivers, you got to have all these DirectX versions compatibilities. And there's so much more. So you try to you try to get like all this crap out of the way. So if you can get like just one unified or one core that is easily modulable modular, you're you'll you'll you own the market. So Lewis, we gotta develop our own gaming OS for all platforms. We gotta do it now. <laughs> let's grab some coffee, let's grab some Mountain Dew, let's grab some cocaine. I mean um I mean sugar coffee. sugar cane. Sugar cane, yeah, let's grab sugar cane and let's get to work. <laughs> yeah, the thing is, like, you could have the best hardware ever, but if the game isn't optimized or programmed or whatever it is, it's gonna run like crap. Like the forest, um, that thing's still in beta. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I've, I've heard stuff about people online that, like, they got, like, the best cards out. <laughs> like, going at, like, at, like, barely 30 frames a second or some crap like that. I forget what it, the number is, but it's pretty bad. Like, yeah. the code's not optimized, so... Gabe knows firsthand. Yes. Yeah, I had to stop playing until I got into the school, and I'm like, yeah, okay, I work from the school, but not on my computer, because it's fucking retarded. <laughs> 
And uh, another game was um, Assassin's Creed Unity. When when the people had the option for the PC version of it, it ran horrible. People had a four GPU SLI setup of 980s, GTX 980s, the giant most recent graphics cards. Four of them, an SLI. And the game could not run at 20 frames per second. It ran under 20 frames per second. That is ridiculous. It is, it is. Oh, and I'm, I'm so tired of bad PC ports. If you want to put it on a PC, take two months, pay your developers, and say, hey, get this optimized for the PC. It is not even that hard to just, when I see a game that I, I play on PC and it shows me Xbox control symbols, I get pissed. I'm using a goddamn uh, keyboard. <clears throat> Castle Crashers. Yeah. <clears throat> but, but I want you to play with the controller, that's why. Damn it. If you, if you want to play the controllers, then no, you can want to, that. It's trying to force you to play don't force the controller. Me to, to do whatever I don't want. So, yeah. <laughs> Though, I will say, the, the one controller that I do want is that Steam Box controller. That, that seems like the perfect mix between keyboard and controllers. So I, I really want one. So, Valve, if you're listening or if you're watching, eh, hook me up, homie. Um, hook it up, dog. <laughs> I don't know if they're watching, but... They're probably not. Maybe they might. <laughs> Hello, Darkness yeah, Inferno. He's in the chat. Uh, let's see. Like Minecraft, because one thing about it is people give suggestions and it changes, sometimes better, sometimes worse. But that risk gives people a hope like Destiny or I Am Bread. I've seen I Am Bread. I am not ever going to play that game. I actually bought that game for a friend of mine because he has this inside <laughs> joke with bread. So it only makes perfect sense. That's the only reason I bought it. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, it, it looks like a stupid game. <laughs> no, get me wrong, it, it, it looks fun, you... but like you gotta be around other people to laugh at you and mock you. <laughs> <laughs> the game is pretty much for other people's amusement, not yours. Exactly. <laughs> no, you you give it to someone else and then you record them while they play and then you just laugh at their failure. And then you tell them they will never <laughs> amount to anything in this world and they should give up on life. And then you drink their tears. Their salty, salty tears. I don't know if that's healthy. Uh, oh, is, is, that, is that just me? That's unhealthy, dude. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, um, Gabe. Yeah, what's up? Have you tried playing um, Dead Island nope. Epidemic on your PC? I, 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 I said no. <laughs> <laughs> Go look it up. It, 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 it's free no, at the no. moment. And oh, ha, ha, have you tried playing Left 4 Dead 2? Yeah, I got it. D d does, does it run well? Yeah. Okay, because Lewis, what? you have Left 4 Dead 2 as well, don't you? I know where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're, we're, we're going to sell our copies and then go buy Steam. Play it a lot. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but no, I I'm thinking we should get together and do a Left 4 Dead 2 stream on Twitch, either this weekend or something. Why don't we just do it right now? You want right, to? Okay, we have to eat it. Uh, I have to eat something. Well, we, we can uh, wait after you're done eating and do it later tonight. I mean, I, I have all day, so... Oh, I finally oh, finished the, that. um... I finally finished the auto hotkey script, by the way. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I have yet to test it, How though. Do you like it, by the way? It's... It's awesome, but when you're trying to write a macro for moving the mouse and the keyboards and everything, it takes a long ass time because you have to quite literally write down all your damn coordinates because if you move the mouse ever so slightly and you forgot where it was, you're done. You're done, you're done, you're done. <laughs> oh. oh, you're doing that kind of script. Yeah, I haven't wrote, written any of those because it's just like, like nope. Yeah, well, I, I, I want to make it easy to do the um, the YouTube annotations for our outros because I hate doing mm. them by hand and there are so many outros that, have, that I have not added the annotations to and I'm just like, I hope no one notices. <laughs> nah, that probably won't. <laughs> no one ever notices. Oh, um, so anyone out there who's still listening, um, we actually reached over 200 subscribers. So... Ooh. 
For you guys out there watching right now, thank you. I love you guys. You are you are our babies. We love you so very much. If you ever have anything you want us to do, like or suggestions, just let us know because EOZ has, has been growing. We got a new web developer to add to the team. We got a new content creator that we're still talking with in the moment. And we're just looking for more growth as a, as a team, as a group. It's all open source. Um, it's really friendly. If you want to hone your skills, just come on in, join up. We'll get you started. We'll get you going. And just help us spread the love of technology, gaming, entertainment, geek stuff overall. Oh, and it, when you join EOZ, you, you automatically become sexy. You automatically become sexy. It, it is like a curse. I don't know. I'm still waiting for that to kick in. Yeah, Lewis, know. you have a hot <laughs> girlfriend. Uh, co coincidence? <laughs> I think not. Uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> that doesn't mean that he's... Forget that. Turn into it, bacon. It probably does. What? Bacon? Yeah, that just means he just has... Like, he just gave her bacon. She was like, oh my god, I love bacon. Thanks. Oh, Louis. <laughs> no one has ever done this uh, one before. Uh... <laughs> I, I need an adult. I bacon, Louis. I need bacon. <laughs> you know, Louis is bringing that bacon home. Uh, that is not a sexual bacon. innuendo, by the way. That is just a, a common. Because okay, I'm, I'm not trying to embarrass Lewis. I'm not trying to put him on the spot or or his girlfriend on the spot or anything. I'm just kind of making wise jokes. So no one takes this as any super secret meaning or anything. Okay, so calm thy tits. <laughs> thy tits. Oh, dude, I if met Thor the other day. I I met Thor and I was talking to him. He got pissed off at me, so I told him to calm thine tits, and he did. You mean the one that used to go to the school? Or? No, the the, the the new Lady Thor that's the in the Marvel one? comic books. Oh, that one? Oh. Mm. Dude, I miss Viking from the UAT. Viking was awesome. Viking and Thor. The Fencer, you know, he's always do sword fights. He's got the long, glorious blonde beard. The ladies, I'm, uh... I, I, I'm into br brunette beards myself. So if you're a woman out there with the beard, <laughs> Look me up. What? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what these guys are talking about. I'm here now. <laughs> says we should do a giveaway. Not now, but when we are in the position to do so. I would love that, actually. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to be doing a small giveaway. I have 10 invitations to the Google service, Google Inbox. It's not a really big deal, so I'm not gonna do the whole jump through all these hoops, join us on Twitter, follow us, subscribe, and go to Facebook. <laughs> no, it, it'll be you know if you're a subscriber, comment below if you want the, um, the 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 ticket. I'm gonna run the names through a generator and I'm gonna pass them out. It's gonna be a really small, nonchalant thing. What but if you just uh, use like a uh, raffle or not raffle copter, uh, waffle? No, Kevin. Uh, raffle? <laughs> yeah, raffle copter. I was like waffle <laughs> copter, <laughs> raffle copter. <laughs> <laughs> like all these copters. Yeah. Yeah, that that'll actually work. Um, uh, one thing that I do want to do as well. Um, this year, whenever I get the um, after I buy the new camera. So if anyone's watching, I'm actually going to get a 1080p. A camcorder for better filming of my face because I hate the goddamn grainy quality of the other like the, the Facebook security videos. I love the videos; it's a lot of love into them, but damn that quality is shit. So I'm gonna get a new camera. I'm getting lighting equipment. I'm getting some uh, a mic arm for the mic so you don't have to hear my server machine going. Um, and some other stuff. And uh, once all that is out of the uh, way. Found it, making. I didn't know this. <laughs> <laughs> Once everything is out of the way, I plan on buying some Steam cards, and I'll be giving out Steam cards to subscribers. So Ooh. there's that. Ooh, but, Steam card. Ooh. Yeah, we've been giving out Steam cards before it was cool. Ooh. <laughs> Steam cards. Yeah, I could give out like uh, simple invites too. I think I get like five left or something. Awesome. But yeah. Get free stuff and give it away. Yeah. But yeah, it, it, it's one of the things where it's, it's when we created Essence of Zen like three years ago at UAT when we were all freshmen in the, in college, like things happened a lot. Like uh, people moved away, had to go back home. I had to leave UAT, and that like that destroyed like four projects. And destroyed. Um, it, it did because we, we was gonna do a whole Death Note movie. 
a, a fan movie. Uh, we were gonna uh, do, uh, yeah, we were gonna do more things with um, like 4K resolution recordings that was was probably way over our head at the time. It's just, we had a lot of things that just went south, and um, I didn't think that we were gonna make we were gonna, ever gonna make a comeback. And then eventually we hit 100 subscribers, and we brought in new equipment for. Um, immersive let's plays that I use to practice Premiere Pro skills and then I got into After Effects and I'm able to do all these awesome animations and it, 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 it's just like it, it's it means a lot when people literally come to our channel and say I love the content you're making and we're we're supporting you guys and yada 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 and because if you notice I don't add a bunch of ads on the on the, on the videos I don't do a, like patreon at the moment we don't have a bunch of ads all over the website Cause I don't feel like, oh, man. yeah, I don't want to be a leech on, off you guys. And the fact that you guys still come back and support us, that is a great, wonderful feeling. So thank yeah. you. So lucky you guys love us. Thanks guys. Thanks guys. I'm so enthusiastic. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so yeah. And if, for anyone who's still new to like the channel, uh, we basically do technology, gaming, entertainment, anime, geek, and other stuff. We're starting to branch out with live streaming on YouTube, like this podcast, as well as live stream. Can you hear my Facebook notifications? I think they can. And we're also okay. doing um, <laughs> um, Twitch streaming. We're, we're we're new to all this stuff, so we're we've been practicing and testing. So yeah. I like this song, by the way. So it's it's Ella Fitzgerald. She's awesome. You can't hear it. Oh, I know you can't hear oh, it. Open wait, the string. Forget it. <laughs> um, Eric Coat says, "Do you guys write the articles on the news section on your website?" Um, yes, but we're about to revamp the articles and news section. So we're gonna keep our blog and use it for Essence of Zen news, like like um, projects we're working on, updates to programs, updates to the website, and much much more. And we're going to bring back um, WordPress systems, but we're only going to bring it back once we've fully made it secure because WordPress has a bunch of holes in security, but a lot of people have already hey, de developed hold me, um, uh, patches for it. So I think we can get it running within about a month or two. And we have an old, uh, an old EOZ member of ours by the name of Phoenix Wings. Her real name is April. And I'm thinking about asking her to become the editor in chief for the articles. So we'll we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I think she would love to do it. I think she would too. She's she's been really bored with her her classes. Like April is like brilliant, and when she's put in an environment where she's surrounded by idiots, she likes. She's yeah. like, it's like she might go off on a murdering spree. <laughs> yeah, she's been talking to me lately. I was like, uh. Sorry. It is like no, cause like that's that's every college. Like, uh when your professor is like, yeah. So yeah. how does that make you feel? I don't know. I'm here to learn how how this class makes me feel. That's not quite the example <laughs> I'm going for, but you you get the point. Yeah. Just wanna murder people. That's it. <laughs> that's all. I just wanna murder people. I can't tell if that's actually Kay's voice or... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Erico says, Lewis, congratulations on graduating. Oh, thanks. Yeah. And you, you did graduate with computer science with a, uh, a focus in artificial intelligence, wasn't it? Yep. Nice. My degree says... <laughs> What? You <laughs> made it sound like like you don't do any, you you don't do any of that. It's like my degree says I graduated as a uh, a, a a biologist or a chemistry major. I make video games. <laughs> it's like you get you get a degree and do something totally different. I make websites, but yeah, I'm like artificial life. I've yet to implement any artificial automated on the website. Are you sure? Because think... like the website has been sending me messages, Lewis. It's been sending me saying uh, it's lonely. It wants I'm cuddles. Good. That's it? It wants cuddles. Working we should name the website Cuddles. Cuddles. Cuddles the website. Like that. But the, the domain is the same, it's in the org, but the entity of the website is Cuddles. Oh, okay. 
And uh, I eventually want to make like some like APIs for the website that people could just hook into and use. I think that'd be pretty neat. Yeah. Um, somebody just sent me a link to something about Pirates of the Caribbean Dusk. Was it, is Pirates of the Caribbean ask for a vote? Let me see this. Uh, you must play this some pops, some possibly. We should name the web. Oh nope, that's a uh, audio stream. For anyone who's still here, you guys are, are free to go. We now release you from being stuck listening to us, but we're just chatting over because, like, we're oh, we just. <laughs> <laughs> I can take I this like gurner off. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take my bra off because my boobs are sweaty. Your boobs uh, are sweaty. I don't really have boobs. I'm actually quite skinny. I want some pectorals. I, I I gotta start working out again. <laughs> I don't think you want pectoral. When you run, it, it like moves around. That's the point. I want to have some jiggles. <laughs> Come, Mister Jiggle, y'all. Are you gonna run her nipples? <laughs> it's not me. funny, man. <laughs> Dude, your nipples shave. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just imagine like your nipples shaping so hard that it cuts like a rip through the shirt. <laughs> And then catch on a fire. <laughs> That's up with your brain. Brenner's nipples, man. Look it up. Real thing. <laughs> I mean, to promote it. So people are well aware of it. Uh, what is that word again for? Mon not monetary. What is it? Commercial. Commercial use. So, yeah. Um, Commercial. You know, because someone sent me a link for a, I think, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean music, and uh, they want us to play it, and I said no because um, if you play that sound, <laughs> our our the, the the amount of ads that we have on these things at the moment is going right. to be obsolete because um, we're only playing music that we have the rights to, the rights to use. So the music that's been playing in the background yeah. is Pro Leader, an amazing artist. Um, I've also been playing a little bit of Techno Axis music, and um, I'm trying to contact another artist by the name of Shag. His name is Shag, who's an awesome oh, artist as Shag. well. Shag, as in like Shaggy, but Shag. Yeah. Technical note. Am I late for the? Um, yes, you are, Moab. It is actually a, a bit late, but we're we're done with the, the the podcast. We're just talking as old friends at the moment. Random. So if you want to stick around, just feel free. But we should be done in like thirty minutes. More like five days. Oh, okay. I guess we're gonna be talking on this podcast for five days. Yep. Keep it going. Yeah. Yeah. Don't stop, don't stop, baby, don't stop to the dark beat now. Do, 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 everybody stop. We don't have the rights to that song. And here you are. And here you here are you singing are. the song. <laughs> mm. See, it irritated me because one of our, uh, uh, I think our last podcast or something, yeah. got um, flagged for copyright infringement because they thought the song we were using was the original, but it wasn't. So I had to send them back an angry message saying, let the fuck go of our video because it's not the same song you're thinking of. Angry, angry so, message. <laughs> right. Because I hate it. like, all they gotta do is make one mistake and they, they can shut down the ad revenue for 30 days. They don't, and it's Jeez. like, damn, like, what the hell? I mean, we don't we don't make money yet off of YouTube, but I would still like the option to be able to, to have to have that, that possibility you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, Moab, I will actually look up uh, Lemino.net, but um, I won't play his music unless I actually get permission from the artist himself with with a written statement saying so, because anytime I get the copyright infringement laws or those uh, flags, that's when I contact YouTube and the, the flagger, and I say, hey, I have permission, I have written documents, I have them signed, I have them saved, I it's from the manager and the artist themselves. Back the fuck up. <laughs> and I'm sorry if um, I'm using some explicit language. I'm, I'm no longer in the podcast mode, I'm in Zane mode, talking with old friends, so I'm a little bit more raunchy. Oh, Zane, you got control. Slow down. 
Okay. I just what I just drew. I just posted what I just drew on on my Instagram. So if you want to see what I just drew on my Instagram. You have an Instagram? What's your Instagram? I do. Link me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. I, yeah. It, it should be. But it, it's a zero for the the, the first L. Uh huh. See, you you was about to have me messed up, Gabe. You was about to have me messed up. Oh. <laughs> My bomb. Wait, you got a tattoo? Yeah. Sweet. And it looks really nice too. Very well done. Where'd you get it? At a shop, a tattoo parlor. Duh. Where else are you guys? The basement of my neighbors. Oh, no. His five-year-old <laughs> sister does tattoos. It's a, it's a, God. It's you get it from our neighbors, 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 uncles, neighbors, neighbors. That father's son's basement. Dude, your art is amazing. Whoa, you have a stitch hoodie. Hmm? Oh yeah. Dude, I, oh, next time I see you, I'm stealing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's the one piece of this one piece. <laughs> uh, I'll I'll give him a contact mob. I'll actually send him an email tonight uh, after the the stream. So yeah. Uh oh yeah, we don't have any more music playing. Let me go back to music. Um, I'm gonna go to Purple Planet. Go to old ambiance. Ambiance. Oh, that's like 19 seconds long. I need something longer than that. The thing, the stinger. Thank you all. New uh, jazz cafe blue. Oh, this is this is a good one. Very late back. Hello, everybody. This is Essence of Zen after dark. Smooth jazz. So we're just gonna smooth back, grab a cup of joe, let that trumpet play in the back. And um, wet your lips upon our sweet, sweet sounds of voice. Sweet, sweet. Wait, what? <laughs> but yeah. Oh my goodness. I, s I start classes back on Monday. I think everyone does. Uh, I don't want to start classes. Well, at least this time I won't be doing 18 credit hours, so I won't be stressed out of my fucking mind. That's a good thing. Oh. I'm that probably going to be, though. Uh, you doing 18 I credit think... hours? No, but I, I have Japanese and um, 2D animation. Oh, um, dude, those, no. And... Like, <laughs> look, Japanese, al excuse me, Japanese alone should be like, a 13 credit hour course by itself. That's Gavin still teaching it? Yeah. Mm, wait, Japanese one, two, three. It's three. Nice. What I'm about to say may be racist. I do not mean it in a racist ver uh, way at all, but. Oh, oh, look at you! Speaking Japanese! What? <laughs> Okay. I was I was trying to do the Gabriel Iglesias skit when he walks into the 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 manic the manicure pedicure parlor, and they go around and go. Do -do. Oh, welcome to. Oh, oh, look at you! You're so fat. You're gonna make us work hard today. <laughs> see, but see, I'm not a comedian, so it's not funny. So it may be taken as racist because I'm not funny. So. Thing right. racist. Yeah, we know what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> you're racist. I don't know you're racist, you don't I'm not a racist. Numbers. I hate all humans equally. That's mm, okay. Racist. Which is why I don't hate you guys because we're all aliens. We're we're from different planets, by the way, guys. We're not from this world. <laughs> that was another frequency. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you can't be running into other frequencies like that. I'm sorry, man. It's like my mother's calling from planet Venus. 
Dude, you also have a hoodie for Dragon Ball Z's um um son Goku. Yeah, dude. Uh -huh. Dude, what the hell are you getting all these awesome hoodies from? Gohan old time. But uh, anime expo. Um, I'm gonna okay. So, uh, I'm, I'm about to get. You don't know who Gabriel Inglisi is, is Malaw? Look him up. He is literally one of the top ranking comedians in the in the in the world right now. He is hilarious. He's the guy that's like um his name. He goes by Fluffy. There's five levels of fatness. You got um was it big, healthy, husky, um fluffy, and damn. And then a new one is oh hell no. That's that, that's the comedian. Oh hey 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 Gabe Gabe Gabe. What what's up? Yo wa nanen nanich. He asked me what time. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know he's gonna ask you that every day. Yeah, okay. I know. <laughs> I'm showing off your art, by the way, Gabe. You're showing off what? Did you your art from it? your Instagram. What are you talking about? I I went to to your Instagram website. I put the stream on the the browser, and I'm showing off your art oh. minus the the ones with the boobs. Well, the one with the exposed boobs. Oh. They have, have exposed boobs on mine. You see, well, it, I wouldn't say I they're think exposed. You're on the wrong Instagram. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it looks more like your reference body before you add stuff over. Oh my goodness! Yeah, it's like an yeah. iron giant with you and the monkey tail. It is awesome. Uh -huh. You mean Blitzcrank? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't. I don't play League of Legends. I don't. I don't. Don't. Don't judge me. Judging. Judging. Okay. Judging. Commence. Judging. 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 Um, Dust Cam says, can I send a picture of some of my art? Sure, just give me a link and uh, I'll bring it up on the, well, I'll check it out first, make sure it's presentable, so I don't want to have, like, whoppy inflatable penises on the screen, but you know, yeah, if, if it's presentable, <laughs> I'll show it. <laughs> did you just summon the after devils of hiccups? I did. Um, They're back. I have awakened them. They are summoned. Yeah, Moa, they, streams are very rarely ever 100% um, live. There's always a delay due to the packages of networks and uh, stream. It, it's, it, it's more like data in, in America or pretty much all over the world is not fast enough to be streamed at 100%. It's always a delay, all, always. And sometimes it gets further Welcome back and further back. Yeah. Well, it's not even because of latency, well, it's latency, but also because yeah. the ISPs won't allow full high-speed data transmissions because they're dicks. Yeah, like, it depends on your upload speed. So, yeah. Awesome. You send it in through email or upload it to a photo site and then send me the link. And that, that, that's no offense to you, Dark Cat. I just don't like um, giving out my phone numbers and stuff readily like that. Uh, so are you guys still up for doing Left 4 Dead 2 later tonight? Yeah, sure. Just gotta eat something. Sweet. Probably gonna need to get some fries here, so. Yeah, I mean, it'll probably be like 30 minutes to an hour after we end, well, whenever we end this stream, which, no. Gotcha. Sounds good. Well, oh, Moab, if you have 100, like, really fast um, streams, like, with, with near zero latency, you are so damn lucky, man. So damn lucky. What's the fun yeah. fact, Moab? Um, Erico says, Zen, I challenge you to go on make8bitart.com and make a picture in two minutes. Uh, I'll, I'll write this challenge down and then I'll probably do another stream for it later. I, I don't mind doing that for, you know, this, but I, I'm, I'm not bad, so. Yeah, dude. Let me write it down. I, I got a list of crap. Uh, 
Lewis, I don't want to. I don't want to. I, I will slap you to the to the computer. Insulting me like that. Just messing with you, Lewis. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, challenge. Write it down. Let's see, make eight bit art dot com. Two minutes. Picture. What? North Korea has a law that states if you watch porn, they will kill you. I can believe it. It's North Korea. Everything in North Korea is believable. Everything in North yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. I can believe that. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, mean, I don't know if it's true or not, but I can, I can totally believe it if it is. There's a law in North Korea saying if you sneeze and you don't say God bless you, they will put you in a batter of oil and fry you alive. I can believe it. It's, it's North Korea. Mm. Oh, they eat you afterwards. Yeah. And say it say it's chicken. Well they eat you. Hell, I'll eat you if you've been fried in deep oil. <laughs> chicken right now? You <laughs> are the most black no. <laughs> Does count a good photo site is um photobucket.com or tinypick.com or tiny image, one of those. Mm. My coffee's getting cold. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, -uh. I know you didn't bring no sassy woman in here. Mm hmm. <laughs> Grandma gonna show you some sass, baby. Dude, I'm still waiting to hear back from Rick, Rick Mur uh, Murray. Murray. Yeah, well, Murray or Murray, I don't know how to pronounce his last name, but he is in the last podcast uh, recruiting some voice actors, and I sit in my auditions, and he has yet to reply to anybody except one person. Like, it's been a week since the, the deadline, and he's contacted nobody. I think he, he might be busy. I know everyone has their own life and everything, but damn, man, I'm, I'm hoping I get a part. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I know, but I don't our, know any. Our podcasts are, are weird as hell. We talk about the topic, and then we're like, "Oh, can't end it." Now we'll <laughs> talk about other stuff. Yay! <laughs> Discount says, "How delicious does a muffin full of bacon and deep fried with cheese on it sound?" Actually, not bad. Muffin and bacon. A dish that uh, utilizes the the sweet and salty uh, palate. Oh, you have not lived. Oh, my goodness. A salt and sweet palate is to die for. Oh, I love it. Hey, Mark remember Zen for DC. Do it. Yeah. Hashtag Zen for DC. Yeah. And he also said, <laughs> cannibalism at its finest. No, look, look, look. So, I, I, I don't want to go down this dark path, but because it is... EOZ after dark. I, I'm, I'm going to you know, say this straight up. Um, I don't find cannibals weird at all. I only find it weird if you're like if you're doing it as your first result. So, <laughs> like if I was on an island and I had someone I did not know or even enemies and I had to survive, I best believe I would not think twice about eating them. Not at all. Hello. So, Lewis, Hello. Gabe, you want to go on a vacation? Damn it, Lewis, you keep doing that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, sure. To a deserted island Wait, where, you know. Uh, cannibal free vacation? Sure. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at pictures um, of food. <laughs> are there hot women at this? Sure. Um, uh, Era asks, Zen, there's a guy you're talking to isn't in the chat. Is he on Game Jolt? No, he's actually me, me. sending me messages through Steam. <clears throat> humans taste like pig. I, I hear that. I actually hear it or heard that humans do taste like pig, which is why, in, in my opinion, it's not, a, it's not a big deal. It, see, like, 
in terms of morality, see, people say, oh, you know, you shouldn't eat cat, you, you shouldn't eat, eat dog. Huh? Does everything taste like chicken? No, not everything. So, it, you, you have, you, you have, goose. you have, like your pork. Chicken, uh, eh. Pig meat tastes like chicken, though. Yeah, and beef tastes like beef. Like chicken. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, like, so there is no morality issues of why you should not eat a cat. It's just that that's what's in our culture to not eat cats, dogs, hamsters, and other stuff. But again, <laughs> you know, if I had to, I would not give it any second thought. I would kill a squirrel. Well, squirrels aren't an issue. I would kill a cat or a dog if I had to survive, and I roast that thing up. Wait, what? Huh? <laughs> you would eat your pet. No, no, not my pet. Not my pet. <laughs> it gotta be an animal that's not my pet. My pet is my family. <laughs> Even if my dog does, like, he be delicious. Like dog <laughs> leg or something. Smattered in butter. Some bacon on top. We can have a little I just want to, like, get some. I think you're breaking up, Lewis. Or is this just me? Huh? Never mind, now it's working. Oh, yeah. Dude, we're... we're I don't even... What, what are we talking about again? I, I don't... I'm, I'm, I'm losing my mind, actually. I'm, I'm getting to one of those states where you just start rambling. Uh... Put some yeah, buns on the dog. Good. Yes. Buns on the mm. dog? Buns on the dog. Yes. You mean the hot dog? Cause no. If you're putting on an actual dog, you're, you're, you're just a mean person. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh! Oh, uh, you mean burn the dog and then put buns on it. <laughs> then the hot dog. Will be. Be. Looking yeah. at the picture of the food, I think it's time I eat. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. All right. I'll get back on. Later. Later, dude. User left your channel. Ooh. Pretty much, Eric. I'm at 1% right now, man. So, like, um, we're probably going to give it like 5, 10 more minutes. Then we're going to end the stream and then wait about 30 minutes to an hour and then we're going to go on Twitch to do some Left 4 Dead 2. So if you guys want to stick around in an hour, um, I don't know how I can broadcast that we're doing Twitch. I don't, I don't know. Oh, so, oh well, I guess it's so. You can go to twitch.tv slash essence of zen and then do like the follow and then you'll get a notification when we start doing the, the stream. Or you can, uh, you can make a video on YouTube. Oh yeah, I can do a quick uh, one, yeah. One to, to the, yeah. Uh, I think yeah. what I'm gonna do <laughs> a 200 sub special is I'm gonna like record like how I have everything managed and everything. I gotta clean, but yeah, I think that'll be a good little thing. Do 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 do. Hmm. I also need to find a day when to do the XCOM stuff. I'm thinking about YouTube live XCOM because I, I want to start doing the XCOM Let's Play live, so I don't have to do 30 minutes or, or, or two hours of editing for a hour and a half long video, and just have it go straight to YouTube and just straight saved after the live stream. Oy. <clears throat> Gabe. Gabe, if you were a soldier, would yeah, you rather be uh, a sniper, uh, an assault, a heavy, or a medic, or perhaps like, like a mech? Most likely it would be a sniper. Sniper. Okie dokie, so I'm going to make you a sniper. I think I'm going to make Lewis a mech. I'm not percent sure. Or support, I don't know. Bad era. I mean, 
Oh, I forget you're in, you're in a different time zone too, aren't you? Yeah. Um. I wake up at five. That's really early, man. Ooh. Five o'clock a.m. Jeez. Well, actually, that's I, I, pretty normal. When I was in high, when I was in middle school, I think I used to wake up at six to get to school, at like six fifty. When I hit high school, I, I I went to school late every morning. <laughs> I just gave no more. I just I just didn't care. I, mm. cause the, the first class was homeroom and homeroom did nothing, so it was just like, um, ten minutes late to homeroom where everyone just sits down and listen to the announcements. Um, the announcements never anything important. Pass all my classes, etc. Deuces. I hated high school. That was not bad. Yeah. People on it. Yeah. But yeah. Um that's good. Hey man, no, no problem if you're in high school. We've we've all been there. We've all been in high school, man. It's it is it is a beast. I mean and enjoy the time I'm while you're in high entry. school. Yeah, I mean, enjoy high school because when you get to college, it's like college is a little bit more freedom, but you you're introduced with more real world issues like um, managing money more and time and 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 life. It's depressing, but you meet good friends like Lewis, and then you meet. Enemies like Gabe. Yeah, dude. It's like the best feeling ever. <laughs> that was not the reply I was I was expecting. Gotta thank God I was off. That's true, that's that's true, that's true. Okay, uh uh, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Uh, I think we're pretty much done talking. I'm going to close out some of these tabs. Um, and I guess I'm going to say a howdy fine do to you all. And uh, if you're sticking around in, a, in about 30 minutes to an hour for the Left 4 Dead, we will see you then. But until then, people, as always, yeah. take care and don't kill anybody. Yeah, don't be a cannibal. Or if you do kill somebody, just don't get caught. Yeah, don't be a cannibal. Uh, damn it, I lost the music. Where's the... No. Where is it? Oh, wait, no, hold on. I'm going to take this last few seconds to pop up the art made by...